Hi, I had a comment asking about the fills on the Boss RC500 and I thought I'd investigate and see what I could find out. I've got a sticker on here as you can see to say long press menu because I keep forgetting how to access the menu. So long press on here. Right, scroll across to the fill. And now I'm going to play a rhythm and then show you what the difference is with the fill on and the fill off. I can't hear any difference at all and I've tried lots of different patterns and I cannot find it either variation A or B I can't find any difference between having the fill turned on and off I think maybe you can import your own fills and maybe that's what that means but I haven't found any information yet on how to do that I did want to talk today also about the fact that the rhythm section is actually quite separate from the recording section and if you want to actually export the drums with your loop you need to do something in the settings so I'm just going to show you how to do that you need to I'll exit that a minute you need to press the input button and scroll across until you find rhythm and you'll see that the default is out A and B now if I just use that setting it will not export the drum sounds it will just play them if I want to actually save it with the thing I have to select that scroll across until it's loop and then it seems to save it with the loop so I'll scroll back a minute and go back to A and B which is the normal setting we'll exit that and then I will just play a, a rhythm here a minute with different rhythms so let's just hold down to find a pattern okay so let's go to, oops Let's go to rock one and then I'll change from rock one to rock two and back again and then I'll play it and you'll see that it doesn't actually change anything in the playback. So as you can see that has literally just saved it as just the rock one it's not going to rock one and rock two you're actually just using the drum as something that you play along with when you're playing your loop now if you actually want to actually record the drums as part of your loop then you need to do the input scroll across to rhythm and then select it and scroll across to loop select it now then I'm just going to delete what I've just recorded by holding that down with a long stop and now I'm going to go back to my other menu which is the long press on here scroll across to uh, rock one and now this time I'm going to actually I'm going to do exactly what I just did see the difference now this time it actually saved the fact that I changed the drums whereas the first time it didn't save it there's so much to learn about this bit of kit it's a great bit of kit the instructions are really really very basic and it seems like you just have to experiment with so much on your own and try and find it out so I'm going to share what I find out if you want to share anything in the comments below please do so let's see if we can sort out how this fill thing works because I really don't know and I have trawled the internet and I cannot find any information on it 
Thanks ever so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.